Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use um, the Ultron air fryer. So I'm going to be doing a rotisserie chicken. So let's get started. First, first I'm going to start off with a little bit of olive oil to coat it so the seasoning will stick. So you're just going to sprinkle a little bit. We're going to do front and back. I'm going to save one clean hand and one dirty hand. So we're just going to give it a rub. Then I got garlic powder. I'm going to go in with some salt free seasoning. And you guys tell me in the comments if you ever use the Altrin uh, air fryer and did you like it? You want to make sure everything is covered and coated. I'm going to go in some, with some onion powder. Gonna go with some black pepper. You want to make sure everything is, the whole bird is seasoned good. And the last thing is no salt. Now if you like salt, you can use the regular salt or the sea salt.
Now for the cavity, the inside, I'm going to take a handful of the season and rub it inside. That way, the inside will be seasoned too. Once it starts cooking. Okay guys, I'm back. So, now that I have my seasoned chicken, I'm going to truss the chicken. I don't have any um, wire, so I'm going to do a little trick that I've learned to truss the chicken. So, I made a slit in the chicken skin on each side. That's what you want to do, you see, see the slit? Then I'm going to take each side and I'm going to push it through the hole, each leg, so it'll be tight. I'm going to do the other side the same way. I'm find a slip. You see how it's tucked? And that way it'll stay together when it's out cooking. So I'm going to turn it around and do my wing. With the wing, you're going to take the tip and tuck. You see how that's folded in? You're going to do each side like that. Tuck. Now you got to trust chicken without strain. It should cook, everything should hold fine. Let me know in the comments if you ever did that before. Did you know that if you didn't have strain, you can trust your chicken like that? I just learned it. So, I just taught you something that I learned. Okay, so now that I and trust the chicken, I'm going to place it on the rack. So I have my um, utensil right here. This is what you're going to screw it in. This is the left side and this is the right side. Left, right. And this is each side you want to unscrew each of these just like that Okay, so you're going to take the wire, I mean not the wire, but the stick, you're going to place it in here like that. You want to make sure it's connected. Then you want to take your screw. And screw it back in. Yeah, let me let me do it over. I place it the wrong way. Okay, so here we go. You can see. You're going to screw this in. And 
it should look like this okay now you want to place this side in between the chicken You're gonna go in. You're gonna stick it all the way through. You see it coming out? Let me go again. You wanna make sure it comes through here. And it went through the breast. There we go. This is your other end. Let's turn it around so you can see. So it's right there. All right. We're going to take the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to slide it in and make sure that it's connected. One screw. All right, it should look like that. Now that we have our chicken, we're going to place it right in the rack. So you're going to do that, hopefully not too big you want to make sure each side is in Hopefully it's not too big. All right, you guys, we're going to start the rotisserie. So we're going to press the power. Then I'm going to do chicken, rotisserie. I'm gonna put the light on and it's rolled. It's kind of big, so um, I think this is a five pound, if I'm not mistaken. So, if you have this um, kind, so I would suggest go under four pounds. Um, to start with. I'm going to set my temperature. I'm going to set it for 45 minutes. And 
my temperature. At 375. So, there we go. I'm going to check back with you guys. Okay guys, we're almost done with um, the rotisserie chicken. So I have my meat thermometer. Um, so we're going to check the temperature. So it should be between 165 and 180. So let's check it. So we got a little more to go. I don't think it beat yet. Let's check the inside. Let's do that. Alright, we're going to let it go ahead and continue to finish out, then we come back and check it again. Okay guys, so this is the finished out look of the rotisserie chicken. I took it out the air fryer and these are the drippings. So you can see that is plenty of, in there. And this is my finished outlook of the chicken. Alright, I thank you for stopping by my channel again. Come again. So, happy eating. See you the next time.